Welcome guys to Ultimate United and thank you for tuning in and I am VJ and so happy to be with you. While this is pandemic, quarantine and YouTube, every time you go they're suggesting lots of video and particularly one video I saw it that there is a black skinny literally dying dog and then one man he came along with his friend on the boat and he saw it and he has compassion on it. He took this dog along with him. And he said, this time I didn't bring any souvenir, but I brought a friend. Unbelievable story. While his friends, they rejected not just the dog, but also this guy. They say, you are not allowed. This dog may have some sickness. So my friend, you and your dog is not allowed. He gave up on his friend, but he saved this dog. Really amazed. Like how great is this compassion? And why this man has this compassion? While I was reading the Bible, I found the answer. In Genesis chapter 1, it says, God created you and me, humankind, man and woman, in his own image and likeness. Bible says, God is love. So God created you and me with compassion and love. That's why we are masterpiece, fearfully and wonderfully created. So today's topic, you're broken but not forgotten. This is the promise which it says in the Bible, even a mother can forget, but I would not forget you. It says in Isaiah chapter 49, verse 15, Can a mother forget her nursing child? Can she feel no love for the child she has born? But even if that were possible, I would not forget you. This is so true for you and for me. He will not forget. Why? Because he has created you and me in his own image and likeness. Can you forget your own image? You know, I remember when I was a kid, mine's four or five years old, I can recognize my photo. Same way, God cannot forget you because He created you in His own reflection. But at times, we feel broken. At times, we feel forgotten. So guys, if that's the case, this video, this message is for you. Stay tuned. Do you see this art? It's called Kensugi art. What happened? Japan has many, many earthquakes. And when they found the broken pieces, especially this art became so popular. Those broken pieces of ball, plates, cutleries, they become so precious for their memories. But when the artist finds it, he fills those brokenness. He fills those cracks with gold. You may be broken, but when you come to God, He do not reject you. He fills those brokenness with his love, kindness, and compassion. And guess what? This $20 ball, which is Hong Kong dollar, it can turn into $2,000 or even more. Why? Because once it comes in artist's hand, artist, it can magnify, it can glorify, it can enrich its value. And God is the ultimate artist. When you come to him, the one who created you and me, he can fill up the cracks. Today is your day. I am from India and I come to Hong Kong. I need passport, visa, permit, work permit, house rent, and many other things. But guess what? Have you seen the birds, the animals? They are not bound by it. God made them like that. In fact, some of the birds, for example, hummingbird. They're so beautiful, so marvelous, more than 300 species. And they eat two times of their weight in a single day. So let's assume I'm 70 kg and I have to eat 140 kg in a day. If I eat 140 kg, how much food I need for a month? How much I have to make money? My goodness. But look, these birds, God feeds them. And that's why Jesus has promised. And this is what he says, that your father in heaven cares for you more than any of these birds. Why you worry? What can you add on? Why we worry? Because we forget that our maker, our creator is there for us. He can fix our brokenness. You're broken, but not forgotten. There's the same thing happened in the Bible. There's a guy five years old, born royal in the family of Shaul, the first king in the Bible. He has a son called Jonathan, and Jonathan has a son called Mephibosheth. When he was just five years old, the news came that 
to Saul and Jonathan got killed in a battle. And then the maid, the supposed to take care of him, she just so panic and rush in that moment. She dropped my people Saint from her arms and he break both the legs. Ever since he was lame. This is chapter four. And then you can't find another name in there. But when the chapter nine comes, second Samuel chapter nine, everything is passed. The battle is gone. King David is a new king. And one day, King David receives a thought from God and he calls his servant. Let me know if anyone is alive from the family of Shaul and Jonathan. I want to show the God's kindness to them. And they find one of the servant, Shaul's servant. His name is Seba. And then Seba came. Yes, master. So anyone is there from Shaul's family? He said, yes, there is one. He's my people said, and he's lame with his two legs. What do you want? He said, I want to show God's kindness to him. Bring it to me. Now, when the royal soldiers went to find, my people said, where he lives, Lodabar. Where is Lodabar? It's very insignificant place. It's really low status. And like people right there, nobody knows. Maybe like a slum. When the royal soldiers march there, and now he's afraid, what's wrong? I was living here. Oh, I'm in trouble. And when the King David summoned him, he just fall down in a reverence. Your servant is here. I'm just like a dead dog. Why you call me? What do you need of me? King David says, I want to show you God's goodness, God's kindness for the sake of your father, Jonathan, my friend. Wow. When you are kind to someone, your blessing goes to generations to generation. And now, who can bring God's kindness to someone's life? Is it just David? No, it's you and me. We all can bring God's kindness to somebody. And guess what? While you're thinking to bring God's kindness to someone, someone is thinking to bring God's kindness to you. Yes, you. You heard it right. Many people say it. He says, Oh, David, I'm just like a dead dog. I'm useless. He said, no, 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 no. Whatever was belonged to your grandpa, your father, and to you, I give it back to you. I give you the servant who can work for you. Even maybe people say it is lame. But look, he was lame. He was broken, but not forgotten. The story didn't finish here. He said, I give you back. I give you servants. Not just that, like any one of my sons, you will be eating from now on with the king's table. Wow. That broken living in Lodabar, he is there at the royal place. Today is your day, my friends. If you are discouraged, if you are broken, remember this. God is putting kindness for you in someone's heart. Same way, God is putting kindness for someone in your heart too. Bring forward the God's kindness. This is not just happening in the Old Testament. In the New Testament, in fact, Jesus, he is going to meet the lady at the well. That's in John chapter 4, Samaritan woman's story, very popular. Now, this is very interesting that this lady is going alone to get some water. But before she reached there, Jesus is waiting for her. And I'm so amazed, really, really amazed that usually we have for the meeting be on time or like some cultures, they are late. But Jesus, he has a meeting that this lady doesn't know. Why? Because God never forgets. He's waiting for her. And when he's waiting, she's coming. And he says, the water of life I give you will never finish. She says, oh, that's perfect. Then I don't have to come here again. Sir, please give me the water. I said, go and get your husband. I said, oh, I don't have a husband. And then Jesus replied, you said it right. You have five men before and the one you're living with is not your husband. So you must be a prophet. And the conversation goes forward and Jesus calls her dear woman. This woman was broken, not physically, but in her heart. But yet Jesus says this. He says, dear 
woman. You're broken physically, you're broken emotionally, but you're not forgotten to God. Why? Because He sees His own image in you. And the conversation goes forward and so amazing that this lady, she asked Jesus, Oh, where should we worship God? This place or that place? Jesus says, you people know very little about God and worship, but Jews know a lot. But the days are coming that God is not worshiped here and there, but God is going to be worshiped by the truth and the spirit, for God is the spirit. Now I'm so amazed, like, wow, this woman have five men betrayed her or cheated on her or whatever the case is, but she is asking how to worship God. And Jesus is saying that they know very little about it. She knows very little about God and worship and she has this interest to know. On the other hand, Jews have lots of information, but they are stuck in the rules. But yet, God is not forgetting. Jesus is not forgetting. In fact, he's waiting for her. He's waiting to meet her and tell her, Dear woman, I'm here for you. He restored her inner self. He restored her identity. And this woman brought the gospel and the good news to the whole village. I was so amazed. It took me a little while to accept that, wow, if some women have five breakup and five relationships, what kind of woman she could be. But not surprise for God. He loves you. Why? He made you. He is your father. He is your creator. You may be broken, but when Jesus comes in your life, you are not forgotten anymore. And the good thing is, he's waiting there for you. Something similar happened in my life in the year 2006. I was going on the motorbike to my office as usual, and I met in an accident. And police took me to the hospital. I was changed into three different hospitals. And all these bones were broken. All these bones were broken. All these bones were broken here. I was unconscious. And third day when I saw people, family, children, men, women coming from the church and praying for me. And when I went to the toilet and I saw my bones all broken, all broken. And that's the moment I said, God, give me one more chance to live. And this time I will try to live seriously. And I came back and I sleep on my bed. Sixth day when doctors were checking. All these bones were joined by itself. All these bones were fixed. I was healed and doctor discharged me. And I was so amazed that God is not just working in the Old Testament. God is not just working in the New Testament. God is working today. And this happened in 2006 in my life, 14 years ago. And when God fixed something, He fixed it forever. God is never doing a temporary job. He does it perfect job. Here I am, good, healthy, fit, fine, strong, and blessed. So today, if you're broken in your heart, in your situation, due to COVID-19, due to financial break, due to relationship break, whatever could be the reason, but today, I would like to encourage you. Jesus is waiting for you. He is there for you. And if you are the one today who feels broken, I want to encourage you you are not forgotten. If today you would like to pray with me, you're most welcome to join me. Let's say a prayer. Let's invite God in our brokenness. Jesus, the way you never forget Mepibu's faith, you bring back whatever was lost from him. You never forget the Samaritan woman. You bring her dignity and honor back. You're waiting for her. I believe you're waiting for me today. And Lord, I want to say, I come back to you. In my brokenness, in my helplessness, in my hopelessness, I invite you. Fill my cracks, fill my brokenness. Be the Lord, be the Savior of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Guys, I encourage you, if you pray this prayer, the blessing is on the way, the healing is on the way, and the kindness is on the way. And same thing, you have the kindness for someone that you have to show it as well. Call somebody, tell them you care for them, miss them, love them, 
go and post on their timeline, Facebook, Instagram, whatsoever. Tell them you are important. The way King David passed the God's kindness to many people say it. Today is your day. You pass God's kindness to someone's life. And God is putting kindness for you in someone's mind. And that is on the way. One more time. You're broken, but not forgotten. Friends, and if you got blessed by this message, feel free to like it, share it, and share it with someone, the one who really needed to hear it. And thank you so much for your care and prayers. This is it for now. God bless you.